What's up everyone? Welcome back to the Cal Farm Chronicles here in Farming Simulator 22. In today's episode, it's finally time to harvest our cornfield to make the silage we need to feed all of our cows. But, we need to wait for it to stop raining first. If you enjoyed this video, let me know by leaving a like and don't forget to subscribe. Alright, alright. Okay, man, good morning everybody. Take a sip of my coffee here. Get looking at the day because, um, it's looking a little ugly out there. Yeah, gum. So it's raining, which is kind of bad news for us today because, uh, today is the day we're supposed to be harvesting our cornfield and making all this chaff and turning that chaff into silage, which will then be turned into TMR and, you know, all that good stuff for our cows. So, um, our, our first problem is that it's raining, okay? So we have to wait for it to stop raining. And the weather over here says it should stop around 1 p.m., okay? So, not too far off. And we actually have a few things we can do around here first. My plan to harvest my plan to harvest the corn and turn it into chaff is to kind of like do a quick little trade with our harvester here or case with our uh, grain header. I made a deal with a fellow farmer and neighbor and friend who lives just like in the northwest northeast corner I think. He lives like up in the northwest corner. Oh jeez, I hit the wall with my header there. of old Split Mountain Ranch. So I'm going to drive our harvester up there, drop it off for him, and then drive their forage harvester back over here so that we can get started. How you doing, cows? You guys are looking good. Oh my god, that's a lot of manure. So also something I realized before I started recording um, is that planting season for like wheat and barley is uh, like right now or right month or right now or like next month pretty much. And I'm not prepared for that at all. My ultimate plan is to fertilize the giant field that we just made in the last episode fully with all the organic material that we have from our cows. So that's our slurry and our manure. Which means that I'm going to need um, trailers to spread those materials, right? I'm going to need a slurry spreader and a manure spreader. I'm hoping this time around we have enough slurry to actually cover our entire field. Um, I'm not feeling too hopeful about it because, you know, our field is gigantic now. And last time we only really were able to cover maybe like... 10% of the field, I think. It was... It wasn't very good. But this time we have, like, well over 100,000 liters of slurry. I just, uh... I just don't know if it's gonna be enough for the field that we have. Nah, it looks like I'm holding up traffic, but... Oh, well. Oh, man, you don't realize how slow going 20 miles an hour is until you can only go 20 miles an hour. But we're here now. Finally made it. Oh, this is a little narrow here. Alright, cool. Alrighty. So he said that the forage harvester is sitting over here in this back shed. And then I could just pull my harvester through. Park it in here. Oh! Jeez, hey, yeah. Look at that thing. Oh, hey, sweet, and you got some silage additive for me? Thank you, appreciate it. Alrighty, well, I'll go ahead and uh, get this warmed up. There we go. We get some silage additive right there. Are we too far away? <laughs> there we go, okay. This will make sure that we have a nice full yield of our chaff. God, this thunder is so loud. Awesome, thank you very much. Let me get this pulled out and get my harvester par parked in here. 
Nyom. Go in my strays we can. Alrighty. There we go. She's all yours. Be good to her. Alright, sweet. Let's get this back home. Fortunately, we still have a few hours until the rain stops, but yeah, it's all good. Got some cho got some coffee we can enjoy. And who doesn't like watching a good thunderstorm? You know what I mean? Oh, jeez. Okay, back to the farm now. Still raining, of course. Didn't expect it to be any lighter. I'm gonna go ahead and park this guy like, right about here. Put him down. And the way uh, forage harvesters work is, uh, you guys see this giant shoot thing right here? Um, we're going to need to attach our trailer. Oh, jeez, that's a wall. We're going to need to attach our trailer there, and then it's going to shoot directly into the trailer. These these harvesters don't really uh, have a capacity to hold uh, whatever they're harvesting. So luckily, we bought that big trailer. holds like 20-something thousand liters, I think. Okay. So, now, um, main problem number two, uh, we need somewhere to store all of our chaff and turn it into silage after we harvest it. And I'm thinking I'm going to get a fermenting silo, which will turn all of our chaff into silage, just like a bunker silo would, like, base game. Go to silos, go over to fermenting silos. Da, 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 da. Okay, so we got one that's sixty thousand dollars right here. Kind of see what it looks like. And I'm thinking we're gonna put it right here next to where we keep all of the hay and the the straw and everything like that. Wanna keep everything local, like pretty close to each other, and I don't wanna put anything in the way. I don't wanna put it like over here. I feel like that's a little too far, maybe. And I feel like over here is kind of like, yeah, you know, storage area. So, I, I was thinking over here earlier, but I don't want to block the solar panels. You see what I mean? So I don't want to give the sh give the solar panels any shade. So, I'm thinking the best possible place is right here. But I think I'm gonna go with the bigger hundred thousand dollar one. I have no idea how much it holds. I'm just guessing it's going to be enough. So, okay, yeah. If you see if it, down at the bottom right here, this medium fermenting silo, and it turns, like, grass, chaff, hay into silage. Which is exactly what we need to make TMR. All right, I'm just going to go ahead and get the bullet. Okay. All right, cool. Jeez, that thing is... Gigantic. Man, are you happy to see me, or is that a silo in your pocket? Sheesh. Okay, so this is where we dump all the chaff into. This is where we pick it up once it's done fermenting. And this is where we turn it on. Okay. Yeah, so we got chaff silage, hay silage, grass silage. And then this is my food mixer that I have just on the other side of the, the red silo thing. Okay, cool. 60,000 liters a month. I don't know if that's enough. Hmm. We'll find out. Okay, so that's put in there. I'm going to go ahead and just get the trailer attached to the forage harvester now. Hey, cows. How you doing? Howdy. You guys got some good food there. Um, I accidentally didn't feed you guys before I switched over to this month, so that's why your health is really low. I apologize for that. That's my fault. Got a bunch of slurry. So these guys got 88,000 liters of slurry down there. Okay. That's a lot. I think last time we tried to do this was like... 18,000 liters, I think. And then... <clears throat> excuse me. And then these guys have almost 40,000 liters. Oh my god. Okay, yeah, that's a lot of flurry. I 
I think we should have enough. But I don't want to count my chickens before they hatch, or, you know, count my slurry before it's fertilized. I don't know. The old truck on. Honestly, the truck could use a bath. I should put it, stick it out in the rain. There we go. Okay, there we go. Let me pull my pipe out. There we go. Now you guys can kind of see an idea of what, how this is going to work. So the, the big yellow teeth there in the front, chop it up down into chaff, corn cob and everything. Stock, leaves, corn cob. Everything gets chopped up and spit out into that trailer back there. And then the trailer will get dumped into the silo, which will then ferment and turn into silage. All right. It doesn't really hurt to get go ahead and get everything ready while we wait. Ben set you right there. All right. Set you down. And let's just go hang out on the porch. Watch the thunderstorm. Drink some coffee, huh? Enjoy some coffee, enjoy the thunderstorm. That was awesome. But now it's time to get to work. All right, let's go ahead and get the harvester turned on there. Lower the header. Turn it on. Is there any other controls we need to do? Fall initiate, keep slide back, blah, 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 blah. Pipe in. Nope. Nope. Oh, Jeez. I think we're good. Oh man, I'm gonna need a bigger trailer. <laughs> Oh, this looks cool. This is gonna make some happy cows. Oh no, I'm gonna need a... I'm gonna need a bigger trailer. I'm already at 90% and I haven't even done one row. <laughs> That's 100% right there. Oh my god. Alright. Well. Oh jeez, it's spraying all over the daggum place. <laughs> well, I can't just do... I can't... It's gonna take way too long. I can't. I have to go get a bigger trailer. Okay. <laughs> Let me at least get this dumped off. I mean, I'm, I'm sure the silage additive and everything really isn't helping. <laughs> well, it is helping. That's the problem. 
Alrighty, let's go ahead and get this dropped off right here. And then walk over here and activate it. Alright. There we go. That's dropped off. Uh, but, yeah, before we continue, I'm gonna go sell this trailer really quick and get us a bigger one. Because this field is just way too big to be doing it like that. Well, live and learn. Alright, let's see how much we'll get for this. Take a minute. We'll get 29000 for it. Alright, sweet. Pretty sure we got that one. That holds to 24,000 liters. Okay, so this holds to 33,000. 34. 37. Thirty-seven, forty, and now we're getting somewhere with forty. That holds forty-five. That's really expensive, though. Might need it. That holds forty-seven. Hmm. These guys are way too high out of our price range. I think. That one just holds way more. That one just holds way more crops. Okay, this one holds pellets, chaff, fat, straw. It's everything we need. Yeah, I mean, this is what we need right here. Can we change the main color? To, mm. I don't know if I like that. Go to orange. Uh, can we go Michelin? Yeah, Michelin's nice. Okay. Uh, yeah. Let's buy this one. Why not? Sixty-nine thousand. Alrighty. Oh, gee, you okay? <laughs> um. All right, little truck. You got this, buddy. Oh heck yeah! Look at that. Easy. Okay. Special delivery. Get you going the right way there. Alrighty. Thanks, pickup truck. You did great. Okay. Now let's get back to work. Hopefully now we have enough room in our trailer to do like two rows. Yeah. Baby steps, baby steps. And away we go. Heck yeah. Okay, so one row down, and I'm at 53, 50, oh, 55%. What was I thinking? Okay, so, um, hmm. This is going to be interesting, for sure. Go ahead and lower this back down. There we go. Alright, and 100% full right there. Go ahead and turn it off, hold it up. Oh, that's... nope, that's not where I want that to go. Okay, let's <laughs> just put our pipe back in there, fellas. Okay. Okay, cool. This can hold a whole lot of chaff. Sweet.
All right, so I got both of the ends kind of chopped up there. This is going to take quite a while, guys. So I think I might do some drone for it. Might do some drone footage for you guys. Uh, I don't know how much of a time lapse I'll do because kind of get stuck having to go back and forth. So. Oh, okay. Oh man, this is taking forever being a one-man show like this. Uh, I'm probably just about halfway done here. Maybe a little bit more than halfway. And uh, when we get over to the silo, I'll show you guys we have almost a half a million liters of chaff already. So, I'm hoping we don't have to buy a whole other silo. But this is looking like... Um, this is looking like it's going to be a lot of silage. Just getting this much done has probably taken me close to an hour, as you can see up at the top right. I'm, I have the time set to half time, so one hour equals two hours. And it's almost been an hour in game. Oh wait, that means it's been two hours. Hmm. I've been here a long time. I've been sitting here a long time. <laughs> Harvesting. <laughs> Harvesting a lot of chaff. But we're so close to being done. I just, uh, just, yeah, really hope I don't have to buy a whole other silo. Okay, so there we go. Yeah, right now we're sitting, oh, jeez, and it's climbing up pretty fast. We're sitting at over a half a million liters of chaff right now. And we've already got 1,300 liters of silage. Um... We are going to need a whole nother silo. Dang it. Oh, man. Okay. All right. Maybe not. Let me get, like... I could probably get, like, two more trailer fulls in there. And then uh, let's see where we're at for that. Okay, so here is the second trailer full that we were just talking about. And it's 1.59, so I'm thinking at 2 p.m. up there in the top right, um, hopefully a bunch of material switches over into silage. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> That's what I'm hoping, though. So I'm going to wait until it says 2 p.m. to unload this. Okay, cool. There we go. 
You can see we made a little bit of money there as well, so I'm hoping... Nope. <laughs> okay, so, um... We're for sure going to need a whole nother silo, because I still got... Oh, uh, maybe one, two or three more trailer fulls sitting over there. Uh, let's see if it unloads all of it, I guess. Nope. Stopped right there. Okay, and we're full. So this, now we know it holds 660,000 liters of chaff. Um, the unfortunate thing is, I don't know if we have enough money to buy a whole nother silo. Yeah, no, these are $60,000. Okay, uh... <laughs> the cheapest small bunker is $25,000. Hmm. This one we're going to have to wait for, though. Okay, so I have an idea. <laughs> and it requires selling some milk. Because we got, what is that, 25,000 liters of milk right there. Jeez, okay. Perfect. So I'm thinking, where's my pickup truck at? So I'm thinking we go sell two tankfuls of milk real quick. And then <laughs> come back and buy another silo. Sold the old F1 R, start filling. I had to do that. Okay, full. As always, we gotta see who's buying the, buying it at the highest price. The bakery. Ah, all right. Let's go down to the bakery. Never been there. Hmm. I feel like the bakery is probably over here somewhere. Maybe. I don't see it. Alrighty, here we go. Got some fresh milk for you. That's all you wanted? Oh, you're full too? Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, well I still have like a thousand liters. Who's gonna buy my milk? You guys? I guess I'll just split it. Yeah? You want some milk? There you go. <laughs> okay, so I still need about another 15-ish thousand dollars. So let me get one more tank full sold here, and then we will just buy another silo. I don't want to wait for the bunker silo to ferment. These fermenting silos are actually pretty cool because they'll just ferment right there. I don't really have to wait for them. Thank you, cows. You guys are awesome. You guys have really been a huge help to funding, you know, this this cow farm that we're trying to do here. Okay, so this load, I'm just going to end up selling to the Johnson's Farmer's Market just because I know that they'll end up taking it all. Um, I think it's this one. Yeah, cool. Okay, awesome. Got $18,422 there, and we're sitting at $65,727, which means we have the funds we need to buy the new fermenting silo, thankfully. And after that, we'll have about $5,000 sitting there left in the bank account, which is uh, way less than I thought we were going to have, because, you know, I like... I just like buying cows at the end of the, these episodes, and I feel like we haven't bought cows in a while. Probably like, like two episodes or something. I need to fill in that far cow barn that's way over there. Go ahead and leave you right there. We'll just cut the truck off. Hop up into the construction mode. Silo. And we want the American flag. Yeah. And we're going to put you, like, over here. Yeah. Cool. 
Awesome, all right. And start unloading some chaff. But we got to turn this one on too. Before we forget, go ahead and chaff silage. Activate. Bam. Awesome. All right, now we should have no problems finishing our field. Cost us $160,000 in silos. You know? Hey, Jesus, these trees are in the way everywhere. I thought I got rid of you trees. Nah, I got rid of all those trees over there. That was like... <laughs> that was like three hours in itself. Off recording. And away we go. Oh, It's taken so long to get this harvested. I, um... I think I might have underestimated doing this as a one-man job, for sure. <laughs> I know for a fact I am going to have a team of workers harvesting the giant field that we just made over there. There's no way I'm going to do it by myself. Oh, uh, let's get up to the header. There we go. Back it up. Turn it back on. These should be the final two, final two strips right here. And then I'll drive around and pick up all these patches that I missed as well. All right, here we go. Final stripe. Oh, this feels so good. About a two-hour harvest solo. Which, you know, not too bad. Saved a little bit of money doing it by myself. Oh, man. Who's that handsome guy sitting up in the tractor? And the field is finished. Ta-da! Well, for the most part, you know what I mean? I still have all these patches and stuff that I gotta pick up. Check it out! Whole field harvested. Good job, team. I don't know how I missed this big patch. I think I was not paying attention on cruise control or something. And... We're done! Sweet. Alright, cool. Turn that off. Get it folded up. Let's get this unloaded into our silo. And then, man, we're done harvesting corn. Oh, I left this little bit right here. Nah, that could stay. Whatever, it's fine. I'm not gonna unfold it just for two little stalks of corn. Alrighty, well, uh, let's get this parked up in our, in our shed here. Man, that's awesome. I'm so excited for the future of our cow farm here. We have well over, like, 700,000 liters of, of chaff, which is going to turn into silage. Which all we then, all we really need then is some hay. And we'll have a crazy amount of food for our cows. So if we look right now, we have 180,000 liters in the small silo. And we have 660,000 liters in the bigger silo. That's, that's pretty crazy. Okay. We have a whole lot of silage. Now we can kind of just hop up in the pickup truck here. And drive around and talk about what we're going to do in the next episode, I guess. So this episode is actually a, a pretty big deal because this closes out our first full year here trying to restart the cow farm. Uh, if you guys remember the first episode we showed up in our, our like bright blue Mustang, not really knowing it, not no, not really knowing what to do. So we're a long way away from our goal of reaching three million dollars in three years, as. Uh, as I just said, this is the end of year one. We only have like $5,000. But year one was pretty much just about getting our foundation set, uh, buying a bunch of cows. We have 140 cows sitting there making a bunch of milk for us. And, you know, just on a whim, we're able to make like $30,000. So, in the next episode, <laughs> it's going to be a whole lot of field work because we're going to need to get this field prepped and planted. We're also going to need to get the cornfield 
that we just harvested expanded. So the same thing I just did to this field right here, I'm going to go do to the cornfield again. Um, but first I'm going to have to like remove all the stumps and stuff like that. I didn't do that to this field. If you kind of go around the edge or over here. I still need to remove all of these trees in between this space right here. And there's a few stumps. Yeah, like this one. Oh, jeez. Yeah, like that. <laughs> so we're going to need to get those taken out as well before we expand this one. I've already expanded it once, but... I know we're going to need a lot of silage for the cows that we're going to be growing. Oh, I'm so excited. This is this is going really well. I think year two is going to be a whole lot of fun. I think it's going to be a whole lot of buying cows. Maybe doing some, some work for our friends around town that let us borrow some equipment. Go ahead and check on the cows real quick. See how, if you guys are hungry or not. Nah, you guys are cool. Oh... I think with that, guys, I just I think I'm just going to close it out here. I really appreciate y'all watching. Uh, if you have any questions or comments or anything you want to see me do, any suggestions, let me know down in the comments. But, uh, yeah, I think I'm just going to let you guys enjoy the rest of your day. And uh, I'll see you in the next one.